A patient has dark, foamy urine, edema in their extremities, bad breath, and a GFR of 22. What stage renal disease do they have? A. Stage 2 B. Stage 3 C. Stage 4 or D. Stage 5 What's your answer? If you answered C. Stage 4, you are correct. Now let's talk about the kidneys. The kidneys are approximately the size of a large fist. You have two of them and they sit right below the end of your rib cage. They literally look like the shape of a kidney bean and your body can actually function with only one kidney. Now some people are actually born with only one kidney and then there's some people who have what's called a nephrectomy for different reasons, which this is basically when the kidney is removed. I'd like to think of the kidneys basically as WebMD explains, trash collector. I think that's a great way to put it. Um, your kidneys are pretty cool. They kind of decide what to keep and what to let go of in relation to electrolytes and water. Uh, they also filter um, drugs and toxins and all the, that kind of, those kind of things. Now, the kidneys have these functional units and you actually have approximately a million of them. They're called nephrons. That basically have two major things in them, capillaries and tubules. These two systems are interlaced and work to basically regulate the fluids in your body and also the electrolytes. The tubules actually carry the urine and all the extra water and waste get turned into pee. And this pee travels from your kidneys to the ureters to the bladder and out it goes. One of the main jobs of the kidneys is to filter waste. The GFR basically tells you how well the kidneys are functioning. It's an estimate of how much blood passes through the kidneys each minute. Typically, a normal GFR is greater than 90, but GFR does vary based on race, age, and gender. Many people are asymptomatic and live relatively normal lives even though they have kidney disease. Symptoms may not even be evident until stage 4. Stage 3 chronic kidney disease is very common. It's actually a stage that I probably see the most often in the hospital. And many patients actually have a long-standing history of this and they don't even realize that they're in stage 3. Patients are usually started on dialysis until stage 5 when the GFR is under 15. There are two medical terms that are important to know if you're a healthcare provider. The first one is anuric, which is a urine output of less than 100 milliliters per day, and oligaric which is urine output of less than four or 500 per day. These two terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but they're not the same thing, and that's important to know. You'll also often hear about the lab level creatinine in relation to the GFR, and when the kidneys aren't functioning properly, they aren't able to get rid of this waste product creatinine. signs and symptoms of chronic kidney disease and everyone's a little different but here's a list of some of the main ones that you'll see in later stages things like edema of the extremities urine may appear more foamy like and that's usually due to increased protein in the urine uh, there's also sometimes you can actually have either a decrease or an increase in urine output uh, so you know later stages usually you'll see more of the oligaric or anuric but I've still taken care of patients previously that actually had normal urine output but the kidneys are not filtering out the toxins properly and not regulating the electrolytes. The last thing they want to talk about is acute on chronic renal failure. A lot of people don't understand exactly what this means. Basically, someone can have kidney failure, whatever stage they're in, and their, pat their baseline, their past their baseline, they've actually declined in renal function. And our, our job there is not to try to get them to have perfect renal function, but to get it back to where it needs to be, back to their baseline. And also, we do this a lot of times by sometimes we'll gently hydrate them, sometimes we'll just hold any kind of medication that we think could be contributing, and also just anything that we can do to basically get them back to their baseline. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up like on this video and also please make sure to subscribe to our Med Made Easy YouTube channel. Have a great day guys.